going out with your blessing. You are going back home with your miracles. Let's rise up on our feet in expectation to receive the man of God. And everybody said, Expectation brings realization. Something is coming upon you. A miracle is coming your way. You will never be the same in Jesus' name. Now, I told you last night that you might think you have not got anything. You have got everything. Your life will never be the same again. This time is not just a weekend of sowing. It will be a lifetime of sowing in Jesus' name. Mark it down. You will never be the same again. Spiritually, physically, professionally, in your life, in your family, things are going to be totally different. Are you expecting something? Expectation brings realization. Say it aloud. Say it for yourself. Now say it for your neighbor there. It has come. Let's pray together, Father, in the name of Jesus. We thank you and we glorify your name. We know that you are a mighty God. You have not changed. You are the same yesterday, today, and forever. And whatever you have done in other people's lives, we know you are going to repeat it in every life. We come to you right now. And we're asking, Lord, you manifest your power in everyone's life in Jesus' name. Blind eyes to open. Lame legs to be strengthened. Goiter to vanish away. Joblessness to vanish away. And Lord, I pray the expectation of your people will be fulfilled in Jesus' name. We well, thank you because we know you have answered. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Thank you very much. You can sit down. We're looking at Isaiah chapter 40 and verse 31. Isaiah chapter 40, verse 31. It says, But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength, they shall mount up with wings as eagles they shall run they shall not be weary they shall walk they shall not faint the time of weariness ascended for you and the time of fainting the time of falling and the time of discouragement it has gone in jesus name Many times when you come for a program like this, you feel excited, you're lifted up. It's like something great has happened for that weekend. And then after that, many people, they go back to square one where they were before. But this time, it's not up and then down, up permanently. That's why I want to talk to you on the life of a soaring eagle. The life of a soaring eagle. Not just a period of soaring. It is not just a short time of getting up and mounting up. But a lifetime. That's what the Lord begins today. It continues and continues and continues for a lifetime of soaring and mounting up. Let me come back to this verse again. It says, But they that wait upon the Lord 
shall renew their strength you renew your strength all the strengths that heaven has for you will be restored in your life in jesus name a renewal a resurrection a transformation it will take place in your life because they that wait upon the lord shall renew their strength they shall mount up with wings as eagles many people do not understand mounting up rising up flying beyond your problems what this means is for the children of israel when they came out of the land of egypt and they were going to the promised land there was a red sea before them and because of that red sea they began to cry and then they said what are we going to do and then the lord showed moses what to do stretch the rod and the red sea parted for them what the lord is saying here is that as a wait upon the lord you will not even need to divide the red sea you will fly over your red sea there are many people that have mountains before them and the mountains before them they keep on praying they need a dynamite they need an explosive so that that dynamite or explosive will blow up the mountain and when the mountain is blown up or there is a tunnel through the mountain they are able to go through what the lord is saying is this that the pilot of an airplane does not need to wait for a dynamite for an explosive to blow up and destroy any mountain the pilot of the airplane flies over the mountain you'll fly over your mountain that means now enemies on the ground that are which you war and you are thinking how do i have ammunition to conquer them and to overcome them the lord says you don't need that now they that wait upon the lord shall so renew their strength that they'll mount up as eagles you will fly over all those enemies in jesus name while those enemies are in the valley those enemies on the land and they want to fight you combat hand to hand com uh, combat you are now above them you fly above them they will you know sometimes when an aeroplane takes off you see it it's going and going all of a sudden it's out of sight you get my point i said it is out of sight and then when you look through the window of the airplane as you look down while you are getting up and getting up the enemies they become smaller and smaller and when you get to the top over there you cannot even see them anymore they become so minimized and they become so small because of your height you cannot see them what the lord here is saying is that they that wait upon the lord they shall renew their strength they will mount up up help me up help me up you mount up so much you cannot even see the enemies on the ground anymore they become non-entities they become non-existent and whatever they have in hand as they shoot it never reaches you the lifetime of a soaring eagle that power to soar that attribute to soar 
and that sin within you that the lord the renewer god will put within you that you will soar it is this morning because they that wait upon the lord shall renew their strength they those people who wait upon the lord they will mount up with wings as eagles now you will run and not be weary you will run and not be weary i run a little i get tired i want to sit down it's like i'm fainting today all that is over i walk here and there and it's like i am panting give me some fresh air there blow it on me don't let me die that spirit of death i cancel you in jesus name life is beginning today i said life is beginning today renewed life resurrection life restored life the life of an eagle is beginning in your life today in jesus name you will run you will not be weary you will walk and you will not faint every load every chain every string every cord every curse that ties you down tie your leg tie your wings that you cannot move up we're going to cut that chain this morning he will set you free he will set you free you will mount up with wings as eagles in jesus name you know sometimes uh, are you in a hurry sometimes you see these uh, aeroplanes you see one there you see another one there it's like they are demonstrating their dexterity their ability their skill side by side and they're flying and flying and then they circle and they go i see husband and wife i see eagle and eagle together side by side and you're flying up and then we see you as the lord is promoting the husband the lord is promoting the wife impossibilities are cancelled in jesus name something is happening that thing that kept you down that thing that held you down that thing that made a heavy load upon your life i see i will never get off from there don't say that again the situation has changed now the circumstances have changed now we're mounting up i said we're mounting up i am mounting up it is so in jesus name the life of a soaring eagle how many points do i have today one two three after that three on your search mark go you'll get there number one number one the transformation of a symbolic eagle the transformation of a symbolic eagle you see the eagle here is a symbol for the believer the eagle here is a symbol for the christian the eagle here is a symbol for members of the body of christ the eagle here is a symbol for a person praying and waiting upon the lord a symbolic eagle the transformation of a symbolic eagle number two the training of a strengthened eagle the training god gives us as the mother bird gives the training to the eaglets is to train us make us strong make us go up 
make us go higher and higher and higher that's why the lord has brought you here he wants to train you up he wants to trim your life he wants to change your life and when you go through this training you will be up you'll never come down the training of a strengthened eagle number three the triumph of a soaring eagle the triumph of a soaring eagle i see success before you i see triumph before you if you believe my brother you'll see the glory of god if you believe this money my sister there you will see the glory of god the past is gone the present is renewed the future is going to be brighter the triumph of a soaring eagle number one what's number one again the transformation of the symbolic eagle Let, let's come to psalm 103 psalm 103 and i'm reading from verse one bless the lord oh my soul and all that is within me bless his holy name bless the lord oh my soul and forget not how many all his benefits multiple benefits are coming upon your life every day will have its own promise every day will have its own fulfillment every day will have its own blessing and benefit you will not forget verse 3 who forgives all thine iniquities how many all thine iniquities and this was simon before calvary you know there are some christians they think that god has forgiven the small minor little common ordinary sins but they have something in their mind that's a particular one they judge to be big to be great they say it was not an ordinary sin they say it was a transgression they say it was an iniquity they say it was a great evil they say what am i saying it is a crime and so that is in their mind they think all the other little little sins error mistake all those ones have been forgiven but this big one this crime this iniquity has not been forgiven I come to tell you from the word of God Calvary has settled all your accounts and the moment you look at Jesus Christ you can say praise the Lord he has forgiven all my iniquities you believe it it is so in Jesus name and then it says who he lets tell me who healers tell me all thy what diseases again there are some people if they have headache they say oh god heal me i believe i believe headache is gone if they have a little stomach a problem oh lord heal me they believe it's like it is not but they say there are some kinds of sicknesses and these sicknesses hiv aids this one is serious or cancer this one is serious or it may be tuberculosis hepatitis whatever this is serious come back here who forgiveth how many iniquities all thine iniquities and who healers tell me all thy diseases it has happened i said it has happened 
in one of the countries I went recently there was a one of the people around me when I say around me they chose him to you know help this way help that way as a worker but he had a problem and this problem HIV AIDS and that had disturbed him he wanted to get married eventually uh, you know to the foster to the wife and uh, when they knew that there was HIV he said no 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 it cannot happen and eventually you know he was in the church and doing his duty only he has this what did I call it I can't hear you I'm preaching preach talk what did I call it aha uh -huh, now you have the preacher's voice HIV 8 Saturday morning we had a meeting and then I said with God all things are possible and then I said if you have a deadly disease not ordinary not common not little deadly the one they told you will kill you very soon raise up your hand i'm going to pray for you and uh, even though he was standing there at attention because he was in service he raised up his hand and then we prayed after we prayed i didn't see him he sneaked out he went immediately to the hospital he said i need another medical test praise the lord i said praise the lord it's like you know what is coming they tested him they said come back for the result on i think monday and he went for the result on monday hundred percent healing hundred percent kill all the hiv aids had gone away i come to tell you this morning what the lord did for him what the lord did for them is now at your doorstep because he is a god he healeth all thy diseases you are healed in jesus name the transformation of your body the transformation of your brain the transformation of your career the transformation of your spirit the transformation of your soul the transformation of a symbolic ego he will do it for you all those sicknesses you receive this morning the healing and the cure the deliverance in jesus name verse 4 who redeems thy life from destruction destruction in the day is gone destruction in the dream is gone destruction from the demons is gone destruction from the devil is gone destruction from the consequence of what you did in the past this morning is cancelled in Jesus name he redeems thy life from destruction who crowns thee you are wearing a crown who crowns thee I said you are wearing a crown you may not see the crown Satan will see the crown your enemies will see the crown you are now a king and you have crown on your head and you go about like a king not like the poor fellow the prisoner that we knew before something has happened already and when you speak it's the word of a king when you talk it is the utterance of a king authority will go back home with you he crowns thee with loving kindness and tender mercies mercies will surround you love will surround you helpers will surround you 
the people that will lift you up that will support you they will surround you in jesus name you will never lack help you will never lack support because there is a renewal for this symbolic eagle look at verse 5 who satisfies thy mouth with it satisfies your mouth with it satisfies my mouth say that with what good things so that the youth is renewed like the eagles the youth is renewed like the eagles all those weaknesses of old age i cancel from your life in jesus name you are 50 and your body is like you are 80 all the weaknesses coming upon your life i cancel them in jesus name a renewal a renewal of every cell in your body a renewal of every bone in your body a renewal of every cell in your brain somebody said i'm just 37 but i don't remember six anymore i hardly remember the name of so and so or where i put this or where i put that it's like even though i'm 37 i forget like i'm already 80 i can solve that now the wisdom to remember the life of real achieve remembrance i transfer to you now in jesus name because now your life is renewed new strength new ability a new understanding the lord put upon your life in jesus name you know sometimes when you are reading and you try you said i'm going to read 10 pages of this book you read page one and then as you're reading page two it's like your eyes are tired your mind is tired your brain is tired and then you say i wanted to read 10 pages i'm just on page two everything is tired and then you close the book you see looks like i don't know that you know i become so old i don't know how to read again i close the book open that book again i said open that book again all the books of activity and the books of progress and the books of vision and the books of flying beyond the ordinary that you think i cannot i cannot and you have closed it open that book again because now we are getting started now you are getting started a new thing will happen in your life in jesus name because he renews your youth like the life of the eagle it will happen in jesus name renewal i say renewal it will renew everything in your life in jesus name do you know that tomorrow will be better than yesterday do you know that this year will be better than last year do you know that after this renewal your life will be better than it was any other time in jesus name somebody said the good old days i say the better new days good old days thank god for them but something greater something better something higher because there's a renewal in the life of every eagle and because of that renewal something better has come in your life Ezekiel chapter 36 Ezekiel chapter 36 verse 11 
and I will multiply upon you man and beast. Ah, you missed something out there. And they shall increase and bring fruit. And I will settle you. God says, I will settle you. Your life is not settled. Wait, I will settle you. Your marriage is not settled. Wait, I will settle you. Your career is not settled. It's coming. I will settle you. It's like there is confusion all around you. I am not settled about this. I'm not settled about that. I'm not settled about that. The Lord said, He has come now. Today is the day of your appointment. I will settle you. You are settled in Jesus' name. I will do. What's that? I will do. What's this? Who is this? I said, Who is this? And I will do better unto you than at your beginning. And ye shall know that I am the Lord. You will know that He is the Lord who comes to renew your life. Everything negative, they're taking away in Jesus' name. He will renew you and you'll become better in Jesus' name. Transformation. 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 Romans chapter 12. Romans chapter 12. Verse 1. I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye present your bodies a dead sacrifice, a disease sacrifice, a sick sacrifice, a weak sacrifice, an oppressed sacrifice, a Satan controlled sacrifice. When you bring your body to God, any sacrifice you are bring to bring it to God Satan has no claim on that sacrifice I said Satan has no claim on that sacrifice demons have no claim on that sacrifice you bring your body to God you say Satan get out of the way demons get out of the way they sacrifice this body it's a living sacrifice satan will not touch it again demons will not touch it again you are presenting it to god a living sacrifice holy acceptable unto god which is your reasonable service it will renew your eyes it will renew your ears it renews your muscles he renews your backbone he renews every part of you so that you can present something holy something complete something pure and something transformed unto the lord that's your reasonable service and be not conformed to this world and be not conformed to this world what does that mean you know some people they have a limited understanding be not conformed to this world it means your language will not be the language of the world your thinking will not be the thinking of the world your aspiration will not be the aspiration of the world and tradition of the world will not be upon you in jesus name the superstition of the world that if you go this way if you not let knock your left leg on the stone it may bad luck is coming but luck has gone forever and ever the superstition of the world they will not be upon you in jesus name if you are going on a new business or a new enterprise and somebody gives you a particular material in the world the interpretation is 
as you see that it means you will not succeed that's the world you will not accept the policy of the world in your life anymore in jesus name they say that if you had a dream and you saw old classmates if you have a dream and you saw your papa your mama that died some years ago they say that means that they are inviting you they are saying pack your load your time is about ready that's how the world talks and then they rise up after that dream and they're going about they say i am dying i am dying how do you know i saw my papa who died i saw my mama who died that's how they think in the world be not conformed to this world i will not die no matter who i see in the day in the night in the dream i am not dying yet how about you you will not seek like the world you wake up that's just a dream it has nothing concerning you the promise of god is greater than the dream of the night the, 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 the prophecy concerning you god will fulfill everything he has appointed for you before you leave this world you are not going yet i said you are not going yet don't talk like the world don't look like the world don't seek like the world don't accept the thing that the what the people are saying you are transformed your brain is transformed your mind is transformed your thinking is transformed your outlook is transformed now you are going up i said you are going up the transformation the transformation of the symbolic eagle and be not conformed to this world but be ye transformed by the renewing of what of your mind that she may prove what is that good and acceptable and the perfect will of god perfect will of god will be fulfilled in your life point number two the training of a strengthened eagle the training of a strengthened eagle why does the mother eagle train the little eaglets let me show you in job chapter 17 job chapter 17 i'm reading from verse 9 job chapter 17 we're reading from verse 9 you'll see the reason why the mother eagle trains the little eaglets verse 9 the righteous who is that the righteous where is he the one who have been washed and cleansed by the blood of the lamb you have made the great exchange you have given your sin to jesus and jesus has given you his righteousness he puts righteousness in your soul righteousness in your spirit righteousness upon you so that when heaven sees you heaven will see the righteousness of christ in you and it's not theoretical practical your life will be righteous in jesus name the righteous also shall hold on his way and he that is clean of hands shall be tell me he that is clean has clean hands shall be stronger and stronger the purpose of training the reason why the mother eagle will train those little little eagles is to make them stronger and stronger stronger and stronger stronger and stronger you will not be weaker and weaker you will not be lower and lower you'll be stronger and stronger in jesus name how does that happen through the training of an eagle that is being strengthened day after day and let us look at to start with 
you know if there's any training i don't know if you happen to be a trainer if you happen to be a coach if you happen to be a teacher if you happen to be somebody training another person there's something important about training you have a goal therefore you have a scheme in the training and you say i am training this person to achieve this to become this to get to this level any area of training there's a scheme for the training the same thing as god is training you he has a goal he has a scheme if you remain in that training god is a successful trainer he will not fail he will train you to become who he wants you to become did you hear that he will train you to become who he has ordained and planned that you will become you'll become it in jesus name that's the goal for the trainer and there is the achievement card achievement level for the person we're training jeremiah chapter 29 jeremiah chapter 29 what are you doing from verse 11 for i know the thoughts that i think toward you that's the planner of your training scheme that's your coach that's the creator that's the almighty god who brought you into this world number one and he brought you into the kingdom number two and he says i have a goal i have a purpose i have a reason for bringing you into the kingdom and i have something i want to see from this life nobody will take your place i said nobody will take your place that place he has ordained for you he will train you for it that's why you have the training of the strengthened ego it says for i know the thoughts that i think towards you says the lord thoughts of peace and not of evil tell me the rest to give you an expected end there is a goal for the training now the student may not see the scheme of training and the final outcome but the lecturer the professor he knows that and you may not see the goal but god knows that and god will train you to fit into what the lord has ordained for you in jesus name think about joseph many times when you read the life of joseph he had a dream that dream was revelation of where god was taking him he was going to be a prime minister somewhere he didn't know and then the brothers they hated him and they sold him into egypt it was step one of his training he lived in the house of Potiphar to learn management, to learn administration. And Potiphar was an officer of the king. How the officers of kings, how they behave, he launched that there. It was the next stage of his training. And then a lie was told against him. And so, when he finished in the Potiphar, he was transferred to the prison. It was the next stage of the training. He didn't know it was training, but he was coming nearer and nearer to the expected end. You are coming nearer. Yeah. All the things that are happening to you, training is not something you enjoy every time. The time of enjoyment is still coming i said it's still coming look at those uh, people that play games either they are playing game of punching the bag or they are playing game of kicking a ball or they are playing a game of wrestling or they are playing a game of running it's not easy but 
the reward, the award will come after the training. And so for Joseph, he saw these two people, their dreams. And then he saw them sad. And he said, why are you sad? You know the story. He interpreted the dream for them. And he told one of them, remember me. That one went and did not remember him. Is part of the training. God will not graduate you into unemployment in Jesus' name. If that man has spoken to Pharaoh about, it, about uh, Joseph, before Pharaoh had his dream, Joseph could have been delivered and released from the prison, but he will be released into unemployment. That's not the will of God for you. That's not the will of God for me. Anybody there, that's not the will of God for me. And so, two years after, at the appropriate time, God will not fail you. Your time will not pass you. Every step of your way, at the appropriate time. Every mark in your life, at the appropriate time. Every call in your life, at the appropriate time. Pharaoh had a dream. And then there was nobody to interpret the dream. When you are the person to interpret, nobody else will be available. Yeah. When you are the God has been training you, He has trained you now. You have to come and assume your post and your place and your position. They will not find another person to replace you at that time in Jesus' name. And the man said, I remember my fault today. There is a man in the prison. We are dreams. He interpreted for go and call him. And they called him there. He interpreted the dream. And then Pharaoh said, You are the man we're looking for. The nation will look for you. I said the nation will look for you. Eventually his brothers came wanting food. And what did they do? They fell on the ground before him. Was his dream fulfilled? Was his dream fulfilled? How? Because he went through the training. Everything happening to you is a training for you. You will get there. Don't quit the school of your training. Don't quit. When things appear tough, it's your training. And you are soon getting there. Now, see all that Joseph had gone through. From his father's house, all the way with the Ishmaelites onto Egypt, all the way to Potiphar's house, all the way to the prison. What if one month before the two years before two years ended one month before pharaoh had his dream what if joseph just sat down and started thinking what is all this what have i done i've lived my life in righteousness i refuse to sin because i believe god was going to do something in my life and then i've gone through, and if he started recounting I've not seen my father now for these many years. And I've not seen this for these many years. And then if he gave up just one month before the fulfillment, you will not give up. I said you will not give up. All those things that are happening, they are for your good. And they will turn out right in your life in Jesus' name. Romans chapter 8 verse 28. Romans chapter 8. I'm reading from verse 28. And we know. You will know. And we know. I said you will know. And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God. I love God. I said I love God. Anybody there? Do you love God? All things will work together for good for you dry your tears you're in a training school 
all those things happening that will train you up and it's preparing you for the place where you will be because we know that all things work together for good to them that love God to them who are the called according to his purpose and the purpose of your calling the Lord will fulfill Deuteronomy chapter 32 Deuteronomy chapter 32 reading from verse 11 Deuteronomy chapter 32 verse 11 the training of a strengthened eagle as an eagle stareth up her nest fluttereth over her young spreadeth abroad her wings and taketh them and beareth them on her wings so the Lord alone did lead him and there was no strange God with him you see verse 11 there the eagle will go to a high mountain in teaching the young eagles to fly it will stir up the net trouble the net and then one of the eaglets will fall out of the nest and as that eaglet is going down the eagle is saying indirectly open your wings you can fly and then before that little eaglet hits the ground the big eagle will dive under that little eaglet and carry it and take it back to the nest the following day he'll start up the nest again and that little little eaglet will fall out of the nest and while it's going down the big eaglet will go there again before it hits the ground and then in the process of training that way that little eaglet will know how to fly you will know how to fly you will stretch those wings in jesus name the wings of prayer and faith they become useful they become profitable you will not die you will not hit the ground before you hit the ground the big wings of the almighty will carry you in jesus name deuteronomy chapter 8 deuteronomy chapter 8 the training that the lord gave to the children of israel and the training that is given unto us in the church chapter 8 verse 2 and thou shalt remember all the way which the lord thy god led thee 40 years in the wilderness to humble thee and to prove thee and to know what is in thy heart whether thou wouldest keep his commandments or no and he humbled thee that's your training and he suffered permitted thee to hunger that's your training and he led thee and he fed thee with manna angels food he will give you food from heaven which thou knewest not neither did thy fathers know that he might make thee to know that man does not live by bread only but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of god does man live that's why he's training you you will not abscond you will not run away from the training of the lord in jesus name and as you go through the training every day you'll be stronger and stronger stronger and stronger better and better higher and higher in jesus name point number three the triumph of the soaring eagle the victory of the soaring eagle the upliftment of the soaring eagle look up here for a moment you will not find any little eaglet that will be of the same strength low like that of a dog or like that of a of a, of a head because the eaglet is meant for the sky it's not meant for the community just picking something on the ground and you 
an eaglet of the Lord, an eagle in the kingdom. You are not meant for the valley, you are meant for the top of the mountain. And you will not disappoint God in Jesus' name. On the side of God, He will not disappoint you. He will train you. You will become what He has called you to become. But remain faithful. The top of the mountain is your destination. High up in heaven is your destination. It will happen. High place. High place. High place will be yours in Jesus' name. Deuteronomy chapter 32 verse 13. Deuteronomy chapter 32 verse 13. The triumph of the soaring eagle. He made him ride on the high places of the earth. Who is that? He made you to ride on the high places of the earth. That he might eat the increase of the fields. You will not lack. And he made him to suck honey out of the rock. And oil out of the flinty rock. You will have the increase of the earth. All the blessings of this earth. Blessings will flow through to your life in Jesus name. Deuteronomy chapter 28. Deuteronomy chapter 28. Here, here is your final story. I said here is your final story. And it shall come to pass. If thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord your God. To observe and to do. All these commandments which I command you this day. That the Lord thy God will set thee on high. Above all the nations of the earth. You see, the eagle flies higher, higher than any bird. And they that wait upon the Lord shall mount up like eagles. You will run, you will not be weary. You will walk and you will not fit. Have you ever seen any eagle flying, flying, flying? All of a sudden, that the eagle just dropped down because the eagle was tired. Have you seen that before? You see a wide ocean, a wide ocean. From here, the shore here, to the shore there, very, very far. And you see an eagle up there flying across, flying across. And he never, that eagle never drops down to be drowned. This world will not drown you. The challenges of this life as you are flying over, as you are crossing over, will not drown you in Jesus' name. Because the Lord has appointed that you'll go through the high places of the earth and all these blessings shall come upon you and overtake you. If thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, Blessed shall thou be in the city. Blessed shall thou be in the field. Blessed shall be the fruit of thy body. And the fruit of thy ground. And the fruit of thy cattle. And the increase of thy kind. And the flocks of thy sheep. Blessed shall be thy basket and thy store. Blessed shall thou be when thou comest in. And blessed shall thou be when thou goest out. The Lord shall cause thine enemies that rise up against thee to be smitten before thy face. They shall come out against you one way. They shall flee before you seven ways. The Lord shall command the blessing upon thee. In thy storehouses and in all that thou settest thy hand unto and it shall bless thee in the land which the, which the Lord thy God giveth thee the Lord shall establish you the Lord will establish you and holy people unto himself as he has sworn unto thee if thou keep the commandments of the Lord thy God and walk in his ways 
and all people how many people all. your family the village your community the people that say you became a christian that something else will happen they will see i said they will see yeah. and all people of the earth shall see that thou art called by the name of the lord and they shall be afraid of you yeah. and the lord shall make thee plenteous in goods and in the fruit of thy body and in the fruit of thy cattle and in the fruit of thy ground in the land which the lord swear unto thy fathers to give unto thee the lord shall open unto thee his good treasure the heaven to give the rain unto thee in a season and to bless all the work of your hand and thou shalt lend unto many nations and thou shalt not borrow the lord shall make thee the head and not the tail Thou shalt be above only, and thou shalt not be beneath. If thou, if thou hearken unto the commandment of the Lord thy God, which I command thee this day to observe and to do them, you will fly high. What the Lord has said will come to pass in your life. He will not fail you, and you will not fail him. Is training you to be a real eagle flying high and his covenant with you will be fulfilled in Jesus name in uh, Psalm 89 Psalm 89 verse 27 I will make him my son my firstborn higher than the kings of the earth the Lord will make you higher than the people you know verse 34 my covenant will i not break nor alter the thing that has gone out of my lips the lord has a covenant with you right now he's going to show you greater things going to show you better things going to make you stronger and stronger they that wait upon the lord what happens you renew your strength you will mount up like the eagle the time has now come i said the time has now come you will run you will not be weary you will walk you will not faint fainting time is over time of weariness that's over time of discouragement that's over time of failure that's over rise up now and soar rise up now and begin to soar your future is bright your future is bright you belong to him you are in the family of god you are a peculiar treasure a peculiar possession a peculiar inheritance unto the lord He answers your prayer. He favors you as a person, his own child. He loves you. He's thinking about you. He cannot fail. He will not fail. You belong to him he's thinking the best for you he's planning the best for you he has provided the very best for you inheritance of the lord the goodness of the lord is there For you is precious, purchased, peculiar treasure. The purchase of God's precious people.
peculiar treasure. See yourself in a peculiarity. You are not just a common person, a downtrodden person, a despised person. You're precious. You're loved. He has purchased you. Not ordinary. Peculiar. And uh, precious. And he has made us kings and priests unto the Lord our God. Kings, priests, unto the Lord our God. And because we are king, where the word of the king is, there is power. That word is your mouth. The word of authority. You can make a decree. Say, Lord, here is it. And it will be so. Our praise unto the Lord our God. We, every brother, Every sister, every child of God, we are priests unto the Lord our God. Accept the privilege of your priesthood. Accept the efficacy of your priesthood. You belong to him. He commits himself unto you. He will honor your word. He set you free. He made you a priest unto himself. In Jesus' name we pray. And the peculiar people of God said, And those who are standing on their inheritance and their right as king, as priest unto the Lord, and we say, The Lord has answered your prayer. And the Lord will show you and give you the manifestation of that answer in Jesus' name. Waiting on the Lord, you will never be the same again. Are you sure? I said waiting on the Lord, you will never be the same again. It is not by feeling. It is not by struggling. It is not by crying. It is just to know that this is who you are in the sight of the Lord. You are a king in the sight of the Lord. You are a priest in the sight of the Lord. You are precious and peculiar in the sight of the Lord. You are purchased. You are redeemed. And you are brought to the Lord in Jesus' name. Amen. All the promises of God are yours. Amen. All the provision of Calvary, they belong to you. Amen. 
you will eat the good of the land in Jesus' name. There's going to be a confirmation now. I said there's going to be a confirmation now. In whose life? A confirmation in whose life? An inheritance in whose life? Answered prayer in whose life? You believe that? Yes. You accept that? Yes. It will happen. Yes. Where is he? And where is she? Father, in the name of Jesus. Yes. We thank you and we bless your name. We know that you have called us unto yourself. We are peculiar in your sight. We are precious in your sight. You have bought us and you have brought us into the kingdom we're children of god i pray at this time now the promises of god will be fulfilled in every life in jesus name lord we pray that you'll make us pure and peculiar make everyone holy and righteous make everyone obedient and faithful I will pray, Lord, as you have lifted us up by the sacrifice of Jesus to be kings and priests in your sight. That position you have lifted us up to where we live in the good of it in Jesus' name. Make your word authoritative in every mouth. Make the word the word of a king and the word of a decree in every life in jesus name Amen. and lord with that authority and anointing of the king i pass the decree that every sickness in your body every mountain in your family every challenge you face come out in jesus name Amen. i pray that the healing of the lord the deliverance of the lord will be yours right now in Jesus name as priest to the Lord Lord I pray every infirmity every plague will come to an end in everyone's life in Jesus name we we'll pray Lord as you have brought us out of Egypt all the sicknesses of Egypt forever they are gone Amen. all the evil occultic powers of egypt forever they are destroyed Amen. all the slavery all the captivity all the oppression all the affliction of egypt land forever they are demolished and taken away in jesus name Amen. confirm the freedom Confirm the deliverance. Confirm the dominion. Confirm your power in every life. We well, thank you because we know you have answered. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. And the peculiar people of God said, It is not. I said it is done. 